Hello, this is Rochelle Agatha, and this is the Data Lecture A. So what you're seeing on my screen are some topics I'm going to cover in the Data Lecture A. We're first going to talk about the function wizard. I am working in uh, Office 2013, so if you're using 10 or 7, your screen will look different than mine. Up here at the top where the FX is is the function wiz wizard. And you can um, use that wizard if you don't recall different types of, um, of functions. I um, know a lot of functions, so I don't tend to use this too much, but when you click on it, up comes a little uh, function wizard, and you can type in what you're trying to do, and it will find it for you. Once you learn Excel and lots of functions, you won't need to do use this, but um, you can click all, and then you can just type a description here. Um, let's see. And I type the word sum, and it comes up with all kinds of different choices. So that's for you to play around with, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Command errors. When you use lots of functions and formulas, you might get errors. So I created this little box. It isn't super helpful, but it, these are the standard errors that you will get. So um, you might just want to keep this handy so that when you see the error, you can um, go and check it out. Most of the time, um, the one that shows up a lot is this ref, and that indicates the reference cells don't contain any data. Um, I, that one comes up a lot. Div comes up if you're trying to divide by zero, and there's ways to get around that by um, using if statements, if statement logic, so it doesn't divide if there's a zero. And then the NA is when your lookup function is um, trying to find something and there's no match. Name refers to a formula text that Excel doesn't recognize. Um, that one's sometimes the hardest to figure out. And then value indicates that a formula contains the wrong type of data, for example, text instead of numbers. Okay, we're going to talk about concatenate, um, where basically you're combining data. Here is the formula. I tend to use join um, just because they do the same thing. Um, join lets you put stuff between the cells, whereas the function um, here does two, but it's just a preference. So let's um, go and look at an example. Let's say that you have a name, and let's say it's two names in one in separate columns, and you want to put them together. You can use the for function, and you have to um, think about if you want a space uh, or something between it. Notice here I have these double quotes with a comma in the middle. That puts a comma between their name and their first name. If I wanted it to be, I'm just going to mess with this. Let's say I put a question mark here. Notice it puts the question mark. So whatever you stick between the double quotes is going to show up. The other way to do it is just to use the and sign. So here's a simple join where I said B6 and C6. Notice there's no comma. Well, I could do the same thing by saying I want a comma in there, and then it puts the comma. I could put a comma plus a space then it looks even nicer. So you can mess around. Join and concatenate are the same thing in all reality. Let's talk about text to columns. Let's say your data looked like this and you wanted to um, separate it. I'm just going to copy it out over here somewhere so I don't mess with my data. I can actually do go to the data tab and do text to columns and I can say that my data is all separated by a comma. So I can say it's delimited. Any data that is delimited by something, you pick the delimit. If it's fixed width, you can pick that. That's very rare. Normally the data is separated by something. And here you're going to say it's a comma. Notice down in my box, it, then it's going to split everything where the comma is. And I'm going to say next. Now be careful because it overwrites the first cell you're in. See where I am in I? Then I'm going to say finish. Notice it left I with the last name and put the first name in J. So that's text to columns. So I just covered uh, text to columns, and I explained join and concatenate. Okay, so there's those three. Then a drop-down list, I've already shown this, but I'm going to show you again. If you want to drop down, you can go into data and you can filter, and notice it put the little um, 
drop down boxes on the cell that you're in and then you can say I want to sort everything by Alberts and then the data disappears I've shown that in a previous lecture so I'm just repeating it so that's data lecture a if you um, have any questions when you're doing your assignment keep in mind this is a generic lecture a and b are generic lectures your assignment you're gonna have to pull from these concepts and um, perform the assignment thanks